Operation of Aerospec. Setup. After unpacking, place the instrument on a stable bench top. Make sure that the vent holes of the analyzer are not obstructed. The analyzer requires an environment with ambient room temperature in the range from 10 to 45 degrees Celsius. Turn the instrument and connect the power cable to the plug on the rear side of the instrument. The AC input voltage can be anywhere between 85 and 264 volts. If the instrument is used in mobile laboratories or in the field, it can also be operated at 12 volts DC using a DC-AC converter. For data transfer or remote control, the unit can be connected to a network by the Ethernet interface or directly to a computer or printer using the USB ports. Put the inlet tube in the Lua inlet on the right side of the instrument. Then place the waste container next to the instrument and connect the outlet tube to the outlet on the left side of the instrument. Switch on the analyzer by pushing the power button on the front. After a few seconds, the instrument performs a reference measurement. This takes about 45 seconds. Please wait until the reference measurement is finished. Measurement. The first line of the measure menu displays the type of fuel to be analyzed or the method used for the measurement. If you want to analyze a different type of fuel, or use a different method, select the desired measurement method from the drop-down list. After each change of the measurement type, the error spec will usually measure a new reference. Always wait until this measurement is finished. Enter the sample ID and the operator on the pop-up keyboard or select them from the drop-down list of previously entered names. Then insert the filling tube into the sample container and press Run. The instrument automatically draws in about 12 to 15 milliliters sample to rinse and fill the absorption cell and the built-in density meter. At the same time, the IR source is switched on. When the system is completely filled with sample, please remove the inlet tube from the sample container and confirm this on the analyzer. Aerospec now measures the IR spectrum. At the end of the measurement, the sample is pumped out of the system and the result list is displayed. The total measurement time is about one minute. You can browse the result list using the scroll bar on the right side. Result Handling In the result menu, several thousand results can be stored and reviewed. Simply go to the result menu. Each line displays a result. Using the column button, you can select specific parameters you need to be shown in the result menu. Browse through the result memory using the cursor keys at the bottom of the list. To view the entire result list of an older measurement, press the box to the left of the desired result. To view the absorption spectrum of that sample, press Spectrum. It is also possible to load other spectra from the result list for fast and easy comparison and analysis. The data can also be printed on a directly connected printer or via Ethernet connection to a LAN or network printer. A file containing all results can be stored on a USB flash drive for storage on a PC or a review in MS Excel. A very convenient alternative is the automatic transfer of the data to a LIM system. There is no software required. Just connect the instrument to the local area network via the built-in Ethernet connection and define the folder and file name where the results shall be stored. Remote control, data transfer, software upgrade, result review and much more is possible with the Aerolytics Aerosoft RCS software. Creation of new libraries. To create new libraries, go to the Select Libraries option in the Measure menu. 
Aerospec uses a library or database to calculate results for complex parameters, such as octane or cetane numbers, total aromatics and olefins, and distillation properties. The libraries store the spectra of typical samples together with the known values of these parameters as determined by the respective reference methods. For best accuracy, it is recommended to create new libraries with your specific samples or at least add typical samples to the existing libraries on the Aerospec. Enter the name of the new library and press the button New. It is possible to add a sample directly after a measurement by pressing the Add button or at any time later from the result memory. Select the desired sample and press Add to Lib. Select the library to which the sample shall be added from the drop-down list in the first line. Then enter the values for all parameters of interest that are available as determined by the respective reference methods. Press OK to store and add this sample to the selected library. The libraries can be found in the Measure menu under the Select Libraries option. The box on the right called Used lists the libraries used for a measurement. All other available libraries are shown in the box on the left, called Available. Use the left and right arrow keys to activate or deactivate a library by moving it to the Used or the Available box. Please make sure to carefully read the instruction manual before you start with the first measurements. The manual is available as PDF file on the delivered USB flash drive. Additionally, you will find a one-page laminated short instruction inside the accessories box. If there are still questions remaining, please contact our well-trained local representatives or contact us directly via our website at aerolytics.com.